We'll start by talking about AMI and then hand over to Hamish. Once we've done that, we'll then come back and speak about the Town Hall and the Convention Centre so that those of you who are interested in the sporting focus won't have to sit through the cultural stuff. Um, AMI Stadium contains four separate stands. There's the Hadley Stand, the Paul Kelly Stand, the Dean Stand and the Tui Stand. Each of them has suffered different degrees of damage. The complex as a whole, we are not yet in a position to say whether or not the entire thing can or will be rebuilt. What we can say for sure at this stage is that the Hadley Stand, our engineers have recommended its demolition. Uh, we are still discussing that with our insurers, our insurers, but we are moving closer to a shared understanding of that matter. There has been liquefaction around the ground, primarily around the outside of the ground, and that's quite visible. There's been settlement under each of the stands. Some of it's been differential settlement, so that means that the stands haven't moved consistently down. They've gone up, they've gone down, they've gone sideways, and they've tilted. Council is still looking with its engineers at possible options to remediate those stands. Some of those options are quite unusual. Um, the Paul Kelly stand, for example, we're looking at um, an injection underneath the stand to lift it and solidify the ground, which is still prone to liquefaction. That has not been done in New Zealand. It's not been done on the scale that we're able to establish within the world, but we need to evaluate all of those options with our insurers so that we can reach a shared understanding. Similarly, the Dean stand has suffered both settlement and differential settlement. Um, the Tui stand, which is much lighter, doesn't enjoy the same ground treatment as the other two larger stands do. Both of those were constructed anticipating liquefaction. They have stone columns which go down nine metres. Those stone columns performed exactly as they were intended to and the stands did not fall over. That was the design standard. The earthquake that occurred here on the 22nd of February was a one in two and a half thousand year event. And that's double the loading that these stands were designed for. No lives were lost here and it's important to recognise that that is the performance standard they have been built to. So the very short answer for today is that this is a progress update. What we can tell you is that the Hadley stand, our engineers are recommending its demolition. The other three stands, we do not yet have a position as a council on whether they can or should be or will be repaired or remediated. But the other thing that we need to acknowledge publicly is that we have now reached a position where, with regret, we are saying that we will not be playing rugby here on this, this ground in 2012. It's obviously very disappointing. We have worked hard to see if we can find a way through this. In simple terms, we can't for next year. Uh, the CRFU is exploring other options around grounds and around playing for next year. And I'll hand over at this point to Hamish Riak who can discuss that a little bit further with you. So you